Did, did you hear? You have the look of a man who has been to the Seventh Hell and back. That a guest should be expected to supply the victuals for a blank banquet held in his own honor. And while this shadow of a ta titan blooms over us all, it beggars belief. You only applaud your stoicism. Had I been asked to endure such ign ignominy, I should fear... I fear I should have accepted my lot with less grace. It's party time. I look good. I look like I'm wearing formal attire. Sort of. Lady Ishtola! Sir Sugarheart! A thousand pardons for this extreme discourtesy. I was wholly unaware of your true identity, sir. Had I had known, I never would have permitted my man to subject you to such unspeakable ordeals. Come now. You must have said something was amiss. You didn't seriously think I would send you running the length and breadth of Eorzea for a banquet, did you? Spare him your mockery, Captain. Your intent was unclear to me until this moment. And unlike me, Old has no knowledge of your traditions. Mayhap you would be so good to enlighten him? Aye, aye. Fair's fair. No sense hiding it any longer. We five were chosen by our brothers and sisters, and before the company of heroes disbanded, we each swore a solemn oath. That any who would follow in our footsteps must be weighed and measured, not by their reputation, but by their deeds. Each man would judge these would-be godslayers by his own criteria. If one, even one found him wanting, he would be rejected without a second thought. But, if he proved himself worthy, we swore we would do our utmost to support his cause. The world has ever been full of brave souls eager to give their lives for a righteous cause, but all too few are capable of making a difference with their sacrifice to send wave after wave of hapless adventures into the jaws of a foe against whom they have no hope of victory is worse than futile. Titan is not one to be challenged lightly, and we will not be complicit in the deaths of the unworthy. Which is why the five of you deign to test old with such commendable thoroughness. Time well spent, I'm sure, but tell us, Captain, what is the assessment of you and your fellows? Uh, he's a brave one, that much is certain. He willingly walked out into the midst of danger despite my repeated warnings that could cost him his life. His skill is undeniable. He stalked his prey as relentless as any child of the sands and struck with precision when opportunity pre presented itself. Too many adventures these days care only for fortune and glory. Old, however, is kind and a generous soul. I'm certain he has no shortage of loyal allies that will gladly aid it, gladly fight at his side. Wily Uplander is talent for plans maker, tricksy foe for mighty rockmen. I can only concur with my colleagues' assessments. We five at the Company of Heroes hereby judge you a worthy challenger. Cast down the Lord of Crags, old Sugarheart. Write a new chapter in the history of Eorzea. Okay. With the formalities out of the way, let the festivities begin. Summon the dancers, pour the wine. Eat, drink, and be merry, my friends. For today we celebrate the birth of a new legend, Old Sugarheart, Titan's Bane. Old Sugarheart, Titan's Bane. Woo! Yay! Oh, you're so amazing. Speak with the bronze-skinned beauty. Sh shall we? I mean, the quest isn't over. I, don't, I suppose I should. I mean, if I have to. 
Congratulations, sweetling. Now relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. I mean, I've been to Limsa Laminsa. This is nothing I haven't seen before. Alright, where's the food? Alright. Nom 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 nom. Now that food could use a graphics update. Tasting the exotic feet triggers a divine revelation. In that brief transcendent moment, you glimpse the true form of reality comprehending its fleeting nature and cry out to the heavens in celebration. That was alright. When you face the Lord of Crags, think not of Limsa Laminsa, Eorzea, or anything beyond its, his chamber. Think only of the men and women at your side. Fight for them and they will fight for you. Remember that no great victory was ever achieved alone. Guldi Uplander must be facing Mighty Rockman with clever fighty think. Gobby Flock cannot be coming to rescue this time. Okay. Ah, oh, old you brave old fool. Promise me that when you meet Titan, you'll look him in the eye and tell him Landell sends his regards. What's this? I have a free company invite from Rise Norman Dies. No, thank you. I am going solo for now. You are a veteran of count countless battles, old. This, but is one... <laughs> This is but one more. Trust in your experience and you will prevail. You're blessed with the fortitude to rival the earth itself. Titan will struggle to break you, I think. What up? You're kind to indulge them, old. This banquet is as much for the company as it is for you, whatever they may claim. I do not deny that they mean well, but now is scarcely the time for celebration. Though they have all but pronounced you the victor, the battle with the Titans has yet to begin. The hour has come and the good captain <laughs> the hour has come for the good captain to make good on his promise. We must speak with him again. Okay. <laughs> 